Nautic Exchange can trace its roots back more than 250 years, starting out in a small coffee house in Threadneedle Street, all the way through to its current home in St Mary Axe. But it's been a tumultuous journey, as well as the highs. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth is visiting the exchange. They were devastating lows. Throughout these videos, we'll be getting insight from some of the key members and employees of the Baltic Exchange during the 20th century. Today, we're looking at the royal family's involvement with the Baltic Exchange. If you walk around the current home of the Baltic Exchange at 38 St Mary Axe, you'll see strong influences from the royal family. In the old exchange, which was bombed in 1992, Queen Elizabeth II had her own building, which she formally opened on the 21st of November, 1956. I received first of all invitation to the foundation stone of Churchill, you know, laying the foundation stone on the Baltic, and then the opening of the, well, it wasn't really the Queen's room, it was the whole of the building. Her Majesty the Queen returned 25 years later to mark the opening anniversary, touring the floor and meeting with the members. Uh, the drill is the Queen enters the city, the Lord Mayor has to greet her. And then I was in charge of the Queen from there on. I, I had asked already, I said all this thing about speak when you're spoken to. He said, oh, well, no, of course, if, if you're in charge of the Queen, you just treat her like any other important guest. We had one... A big last-minute panic at the door of the Baltic. I remember the security said, because by then there must have been about 1,000, 1,500 people, and the so-called working day, it was absolutely jam-packed. I just presented somebody, and everything had by then had gone according to the book, and suddenly she looks, and he's at least two rows back, looks him straight in the eye, and he's quite tall, as that right? and says, you don't seem to have any work to do. And uh, all I said was that, uh, well, he is only the managing director of Fanny Swithy. So then I said, may I present the managing director of Fanny Swithy? And then I got her favourite word, actually. Her favourite phrase is, of course. Uh, of course, yes, of course. And it's not just Her Royal Highness who has connections to the Baltic. In 1953, the Duke of Edinburgh was made an honorary life member of the Exchange. Derek Walker remembers meeting him. He came to the Baltic once or twice, or maybe three or four times um, over the period that I was involved with it. Um, but he also was, was deeply involved with the livery company, which a lot of Baltic members belong to. The good relationship between the Baltic Exchange and the royal family has continued to this day.